Hello, my name is Brian Loudon and I'm Director of Operations for Capital Theatres. As well as my other duties, I am overall responsible for making sure that we get the right people and the right things in the right place at the right time. This time-lapse footage tracks the changeover of two productions, from Nell Gwyn to Not Dead Enough, over the weekend in April 2017 at the King's Theatre. Although very different to each other in design, both were traditional box sets with a floor and walls plus lighting, props and costumes. We have a small stock of standard equipment in-house, but for most shows that you see at the King's, all of the scenery, the lighting and any special effects will have come along with the visiting company. Both of these shows had been touring a number of venues before they got to us, so the build procedure was well established, and we had advance information in plenty of time to allow us to plan. It's not unusual for shows to arrive with two or three 40-foot trucks. It's important that we get the trucks loaded and unloaded in the correct order. There is very little storage space and time is precious. The crew that build the show when it arrives will be the same crew that loads it back onto the truck ready for the next venue. There is always somebody touring with the show who knows the pack plan. That is, what goes where, what goes on next and how it is safely secured in the trailer. The crew is made up of a team from the visiting production, from our in-house technicians, plus as many of our flexible pool of part-time staff with the relevant qualifications and experience that are necessary for the specific requirements of each production. We spend a lot of time scheduling. The crew that you have seen here for the Get Out will, be made, will have been made up from some technicians who have been running that evening's performance, supplemented by a team who will have come on duty, in that case at 10pm, for the Get Out. The team finally packed up at 3am on the Sunday morning, ready to come back in on Monday to start the process all over again. Next time you see a Paul Matthews truck driving down the road early on the Sunday morning, you'll be able to take a guess at what is in the bag. At some point overnight on Sunday, the trucks will have arrived from the previous venue. Generally, first off the trailer will be lighting and any scenery that will be suspended on our flying bars. This will be loaded onto the bars while the floor comes in. The floor will go down while the wardrobe and props are unloaded. The walls of the set will be unloaded last to be built on top of the floor, whilst front of house lighting and maybe sound in the auditorium is set up. While the set is being finished off, the electricians will be directing and focusing the lights and running through lighting cues to make sure that everything is as it should be. Performers will be arriving in the afternoon Depending on where they were the previous week, some may have travelled to Edinburgh on Sunday or they may have had a day at home, otherwise they're living out of a suitcase for 20 odd weeks in a row. By 7pm we're ready for the house to open and welcome you to the performance. We look forward to seeing you all again soon.